Hello again everyone, uh, Alan back once again for another in my series of deck reviews and what I have today is another deck from Dan and Dave Buck and uh, this one uh, is very very quickly finding its way into my favorites category. This is the Fantastique uh, playing card deck by Dan and Dave Buck like I said and this deck has some serious character to it. I love this deck. I'm going to take a quick peek. I just go over the box real fast because uh, words really can't describe it. Just take a look at the intricate detail and the kind of circusy feel that you have with this deck. It is awesome. Uh, one side, uh, it has the D&D playing card company with Dan and Dave, of course. The other side says, illustrated by Sveta Dorosheva, who I'm assuming uh, did the design. The bottom of the deck has uh, the D&D label, as you see on the one side, and it has uh, the inspired by the automatons of Jean, Eugene, Robert, Houdin. And uh, the top of the box just has pretty basic playing cards. Now the backs. This is where they get interesting. Of course, there is no seal. It's a Dan and Dave deck, so uh, your box can stay in good shape. Very, very abstract. Very circusy kind of feel. You see it is... Uh, busy you might say you look at the backs very very busy but very very cool you'll see when I do the uh, the fanning segment of this uh, of this deck they fan and they spread beautifully it, it is just an awesome deck um, like I said very quickly becoming one of my favorites uh, I'm gonna open this up we'll take a look at uh, some of the cards inside see what you get with it as you can see once again the backs of the cards look the back of the box you get a blank card with it. Kind of cool. You also get another blank card with it. Again, twice as cool. So you get two of those. Unfortunately, you do not get a double backer. You get two jokers, and they are very, very different. You see the first one uh, is kind of a, a figure there with a bird head and a top hat and like a cuckoo thing coming out of the top. It looks like a a face. I don't know. How, I don't know how well that'll focus. I guess it won't focus too badly. Like, see, it's like a, a figure with just. I mean, it's abstract. It's crazy, but it's very, very original. I guess you would say. And for that, I like it. Um, you get that Joker. Yeah, the other Joker is pretty much. It is what it is. It's its own. Um, you see it there. It's a bunch of figures that make up the word Joker. That's all there is to it. No indexes or anything or pips or anything like that. And now you got your Ace of Spades. And you'll see a DD and d playing card company there on the bottom. And it's just abstract. It's weird. It's got, uh, it's got a lot of character. Definitely original. I kind of like it. Now the, the cards themselves are standard bicycle pips and indexes. You see. Um... With silver and black are the two main, main colors. You won't see any reds or yellows or anything like that in any of the core cards. Now, here's one of the characteristics about the deck I love. The red cards are done in silver. Uh, the pips are done in silver, kind of like the Gargoyles deck is the same way. I really, really like that. Uh, the court cards, uh, all the court cards, court cards and all the suits are done in silver and black. Except the red ones, obviously, you have the silver... Uh, pips, but other than that, it's standard bicycle pips and indexes. Uh, it's a beautiful deck. I love this deck. It's quickly becoming one of my favorites. I might have to order up a couple more of them. Um, so there you go. Uh, beautiful, nice, clean deck. Of course, Dan and Dave, uh, they generally do just a fantastic job with their card decks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a, a a separate segment on the handling and uh, fanning and abilities and stuff of this deck so uh, stay tuned for that we'll be right to it now one thing uh, that's really really great uh, about this fantastic deck uh, besides the fact that it just looks awesome and I really like it is uh, the, the way it handles uh, this deck like uh, all your other Dan and Dave's decks, they just fan phenomenally, they spread phenomenally. Um, of course, they're very, very pleasing to the eye. 
uh, with those uh, with the silver pips as you can see they they're easy to deal with they fan great and they dribble really well and I this to me is just a deck that I would love uh, to do magic with just because of the fact that it's so uh, striking um, being a white deck you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of uh, chipping or anything like that with the deck and it's also uh, very very sturdy it feels almost like an illusionist deck but like other Dan and Dave decks you as you know they're, they're uh, basically designed for flourishing so if uh, you are a flourisher then this deck is definitely going to be one that uh, you will want to have uh, in your arsenal just because of the fact uh, of course flourishes is all about is all about um, the way it looks and you know it's a visual thing so this deck being a very very visual deck uh, will enhance any kind of flourishing uh, routine that you might do so um, this is definitely one that I would recommend picking up this is uh, like I said this is the fantastic deck by uh, Dan and Dave and like uh, all my other decks and uh, most other decks out there you can get these uh, by going to Ace King Cards and there is a link in the description of the video where you can go there and check out what he has to offer and uh, uh, he would be more than happy to, to shoot a deck of these right out to you um, so you can get going with these right away like I said this is the fantastic deck by Dan and Dave Buck uh, courtesy of Ace King Cards I want to thank you very much for watching my name is Alan uh, check out my channel for other card related uh, fun stuff and uh, deck reviews, card trick videos, and uh, other stuff like that. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome day.